hi friends uh, today we have suman who is uh, one of our applied ai course students uh, suman thank you very much for taking the time to discuss your very interesting learning journey and also your success story thank you very much for taking the time thank you sir thank you it's a pleasure talking to you sir cool so i'll give a brief introduction and then we'll go into the crux of it okay sure cool so suman just joined as a data scientist 3 at walmart and he is currently working in a team that tries to do uh, automation of allocating which item goes in which shelf in in the thousands of walmart stores across the world so very interesting problem where uh, people typically used business domain knowledge etc but now modern machine learning and deep learning are also being employed very interesting problem so prior to this uh, suman worked as a data scientist and also a senior data analyst at tiger analytics for just under 2 years and prior to that he worked for 4 years as an analyst at infosys and uh, again so very interesting journey but before we dive into your interview experiences i had one question for you so when you enrolled for applied ai course you were already a data scientist at tiger analytics if i'm not wrong right yeah so while being already a data analyst sorry data scientist at tiger analytics why did you enroll for applied ai course yeah sure sir so i think um, i mean when i joined the tiger as a data scientist i worked for close to you know two years as you mentioned but i always felt a gap in my uh, like the you know in my understanding of various machine learning concepts right and i felt that it is like i didn't have the confidence to clear an interview of a product based company like and it was very much necessary for me to have a structured way of learning as well as getting a you know understanding of all the concepts at least classical machine learning concepts which are very much necessary right and applied ai course gave me that foundation or gave me that uh, platform where i could understand those concepts in depth and once i did that course i realized i have now have the confidence to go ahead and you know clear the interview or even at, at least apply for those companies which i previously didn't had at, at least got it so this was mostly to fill your gaps and increase your depth of knowledge to crack the top product based companies exactly got yeah. it got it sure. so let's let's change tracks let's go to your interview experiences right so what was your if you can walk us through individual interviews what were they focusing yeah. on again given yeah. that you are already a data scientist at tiger mm-hmm. and you are applying for data scientist 3 at walmart mm-hmm. so what were the rounds like and what were they focusing mostly yeah, yeah sure probably uh, explain in uh, three parts uh, one was is a walmart experience and the other two product companies which i gave interview because three were very different from each other please right? let's start yeah. with walmart go to the others also that will be great i'll try to walk so my walmart experience was purely my project based experience what i did at tiger uh, starting from like uh, a project data understanding to gathering and then i mean what model did i use why did i use what was the problem statement right and then they also focused on how did i deploy the models and once the model is deployed how did you monitor the models the production part of the work and following the model governance as well so, so end to end life cycle end to end life cycle you've done was what what was being asked exactly the end to end part and all the four I, i mean i had close to four rounds at walmart and most of the rounds covered about my past Uh, experience my project experience because they wanted to know how i uh, approach any problem and probably each round focused on a different aspect to different exactly. depths of yeah. Uh, detail yeah yeah because there were several uh, you know follow up questions as well on my previous experience because and starting from say for example if i used a linear regression model what was the assumptions why did i use did i try different oh, so algorithms so any well? technique that you used they were exactly. diving into the technique and asking exactly. you the internal yeah. details of yeah yeah got yeah. it got correct. it correct correct so my walmart experience was purely my project experience and a lot of emphasis was given on the production side of the work as well because nowadays company do focuses a lot on yes, that yes. which i have realized especially for a data scientist 3 you yeah. should know how to productionize exactly. and work with software engineers to enable that yeah correct correct so that was primarily on the walmart side of things and there was other company uh, which is also uh, like a e-commerce company i gave an interview with, and they had very specific this is also a product based company right? this is also a product based company got it, got they, it. they they also had i mean but they had very specific rounds they had specific sql rounds uh, specific coding round there was specific machine learn i mean learning you know round as well and there was i mean separate a kind of statistics round and probability round and to very um, i mean honest with you i cleared most of the rounds and only because of the applied ai course because the content that is provided in, in, in terms of statistics probability and the machine learning i think was kind of good enough to clear those uh, uh, those rounds in that got interview it, got it. they had i mean they, they had specific rounds and then they would have moved to further rounds got it so right. they were more or less following like some programming some yeah. probability yeah. statistics some machine yeah. learning then your yeah. projects exactly yeah that's yeah. a typical thing that we see at many product based companies yeah. e-commerce yeah. companies etc yeah. so yeah. i i understand 
uh, what you are what you are hinting mm-hmm. at. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And there was another company which is also a progress company, which is also a large scale company. I would say, right? Very huge company, and they focus primarily on the recommendation engine. Okay. Like the, the I had close to seven rounds of interview, and I could vouch that seven rounds of interview. Seven rounds of interview. and i could say that at least six rounds covered recommendation engine because this large product based company focuses so much on recommender system exactly they were kind of building a, like a, i mean coming up with a recommendation system they wanted to recommend apps to different customers right and for okay. that they need to build a large scale uh, i mean large scale recommendation system right and that's why they focus entirely on that right and uh, like uh, not like they uh, like, they gave me a problem statement and asked me like what are the approaches you'll take i mean to define a recommendation problem and even they went and notch ahead and asked me how deep learning you could use in case of recommendation so it's not only like uh, collaborative filtering or content based filtering so how like like state of the art as well if you Very know something about that so we discussed yeah. some of these in the live sessions exactly yeah, yeah, so yeah. i'm happy they helped you in some way very yeah good. and I, and and for the interview I, i even because i didn't have prior experience in recommendation engine but when i went through all the content that we, that applied as provided that has probably helped me to clear the seven rounds <laughs> or oh, you cleared all the seven yeah, rounds yeah, very good yeah, very good yeah, yeah. so again a lot of recommendation system companies are asking how do you yeah. use recommendation systems in the mm-hmm. context of deep learning how do you leverage both deep learning and rec- recommendation systems that's yeah. that's a nice question again yeah yeah, yeah yeah i think yeah so these are three different because and i gave interviews at uh, other companies as well but these three companies which are product based companies and they were very different from each other and this is this mostly covers the entire interview again in the same company if you interview with a different team the interview experience could be very different because everybody is yeah, looking for different yeah. sets of skills exactly exactly i think i think if i re- if i understand it walmart was saying hey this guy has done some work let's understand okay. that work so that we are confident that he can pick up new problems and work yeah while the first e-commerce product based company that you said was checking all the basics yeah. basic programming basic uh, python program yeah. basic uh, uh, probability statistics yeah. etc the third company is anyway building a recommendation system they are like yeah. i don't care about other things can you solve our problems yeah yeah very different approaches very different yeah yeah even i have seen very similar uh, experiences of our students and even myself as an interviewer and also as an interviewee same company if you interview for different teams the cycle could be very very different yeah 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 very happens different. yeah very good so let's go back to your learning strategy right sure so i think you started your learning sometime in march of 21 yeah. if i'm not wrong yeah. right yeah Yeah. So, what was yeah. your learning journey? Given that you already knew a bunch of things uh, mm. before, mm. yeah, yeah. So, uh, when I actually enrolled for the course, in the I mean, back of the mind, I knew like this is time I'm trying now trying to change companies, right? That is something I decided on, and then only I I kind of took upon the course, right? Yeah. Uh, now, now when I already in that mindset, right? I decided that how should I and uh, you know uh, leverage or how should I spend some time every day. to kind of go through some concepts daily right so well, so what i did was that like i'm morning person so what i did i used to wake up early in the morning at least spend an hour i mean starting from the first module that i mean that is there and i purely focused on the classical machine learning uh, part before because i knew that is something i, uh, I mean i have to be uh, you know good on following that i can go to deep learning concepts got because my, got my my focused previous, on the foundations yeah. first exactly foundation because my previous experience was mostly into classical machine learning and i knew that if if the interviewers grill me on classical machine learning i have to be good at that right? very valid point yeah. you can say so, i have not worked on deep learning so i exactly. don't know much about it but classical machine learning you have to be solid because you worked on it you worked on it exactly so i focus completely on that and i try to spend at least one hour daily and i used to keep notes on everything that that you know that is being taught and, and also i i went to the comment section as well at least few top comments because there were some good points that have been covered in the comment section as well and, yeah. and comments I, are also my most favorite part yeah, because yeah. i get to learn from comments tricky yeah. questions that students ask exactly and and uh, i used to write them down everything because it is very much possible that whatever you were studying right now you might forget one week you know down the line yes. so so like what i used to do is i used to write it down and if, and during the weekends i used to revise them again right? and even during the interviews as well i used to revise whatever i have written even you know went through the courses and uh, i mean and the videos again and again so, that so there, what was your revision strategy like before uh, the interviews yeah so i used to refer to my notes right and if any concept i feel i need to go back and and, uh, and you know understand again i used to go back and start the video again 
uh, to go, go through the code because there are many points I uh, you know I might miss during the uh, I mean during taking of the notes right so something that I used to go back again and even went through the comment section again but Got at it. least I, I tried to spend an we uh, an hour daily but 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 it was not possible every day right sometimes I I skipped uh, I mean uh, I mean because of my work uh, commitments my personal commitments it was not possible but at least an hour daily it, yeah, I mean it's something that I add. What about had weekends? My mind changed, Were you trying to squeeze in more time during weekends or yeah, one hour course. even during uh, weekends? During weekends, I used to revise the, the concepts that I had read during my week and also try to, uh, you know, uh, go through the, uh, I mean, some of the live sessions and some of the, I mean, more videos as well during the weekends as well, right? Got and it. not only I stuck in only on just going through the videos, also, and I, I also try to implement them. Like mm -hmm. if I'm learning a linear regression model, can I you know, code it in NumPy? That is From important. scratch. From scratch, because very good. Very I good. mean, even if I can't, that's an assignment, try, right? Anyway, for that's us. an assignment. Yeah, yeah. Even if I can't, I used to there are several open source repositories yes. as well, which helps you to understand how can how you can approach those problems. How can yeah, implementing them. an algorithm from scratch yeah. is golden because you know what yeah. the heck is happening internally. Exactly. Yeah. Very exactly. good. Very good. So uh, uh, again, uh, in this whole process, did you have ups and downs, or was it fairly smooth for you, given that you knew some of the concepts beforehand? No, no, it, I mean, there were ups and downs actually, because uh, despite knowing some of the concepts, I was not like, I, I, I mean, I mean, you can say I don't have a deep understanding of the concepts and that is something the applied AI course provided me, right? And there were many things that I didn't, uh, I mean, understand at the very first go. So I had to revise again. I had to search online, look up uh, online to understand in depth of what the topic is, right? Very good. I mean, I spent, you know, most of my time uh, understanding SVM. Which was very okay. fairly complicated for me in the first go, right? Which yeah, I it takes a couple of iterations to yeah, understand yeah. SVM well. That's that's yeah. very natural. Yeah. So I I mean what I did I used to refer videos. I used to search online Wikipedia and well, and just to understand like like what is happening. I mean inside the algorithm, right? And it's always I, good to get multiple perspectives. Even we yeah. provide external references for students to read beyond the class. That's always good because why should you learn only from one perspective, right? There are so yeah. many brilliant people who can teach yeah. from different perspectives. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Very and, good. Uh, and then try to, uh, you know, I um, mean, uh, uh, kind of uh, understand the code, the implementation. And like, since I already have my past experience working in a project, what are the algorithms I used in that project? I should understand that end to end because that is very important during the interview. They will ask me that. Yes, yes, that's very true. So, yes. so uh, yeah. another question I had was what suggestions would you give? To yeah. folks very similar to you who are either working as data analysts or data yeah. scientists uh -huh. in a bunch of companies. We have hundreds of students who are already data analysts or data scientists, uh -huh. and they want to go to the next level of product-based companies, just like the way you have done in a very quick span of about uh, nine months, right? Seven yeah. to eight, eight to nine months, you yeah. successfully transitioned. Yeah. So yeah. what suggestions will you give to these hundreds of students in our course or otherwise? Yeah. People who are data scientists at Infosys or Tiger Analytics or Fractal, all these companies and how they can level up or how they can go to the next level of companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, one of the uh, things that is being covered in, uh, you know, uh, I mean, currently, uh, I mean, during the interview process is the production side of the work. Uh, a lot of emphasis I have seen given in how did you deploy models? Like, I don't want people, like, since you're already working in a data science space, you work in a company, you should try to you know productionize the models try to see what is happening in, i mean in the production because if you're only stuck in i mean in the development work then you don't know like there are a lot of challenges that you face once you put the model True. in a production True. right and if you understand that thing because a lot of uh, kind of product based companies they focus a lot on quality of the work right and if and if you know the production side of things then that will help you a lot in kind of uh, clearing the interview and also you know sustaining i mean in this environment that's I mean, also true because a lot of data scientists may not know that because they outsource it to a DevOps team or a software yeah. engineering yeah. team. Yeah. And if you yeah. want to aim for good companies at good levels, you have to know end-to-end -end life cycle. There is no exactly. excuse. Correct. For because, because that is something that will differentiate you from the other data scientists. Right? Because a lot of people only get, um, um, only does still the development part. They, like once a model is ready, they just, I mean, leave it as it is, right? But once you know the, the other side of the coin, right? You have put the model into production, you know how to monitor the model, you know how to govern the model. What is happening after it is, you know, after it has gone live, that is something very important in a, I mean, in a data science end-to-end -end life cycle. And if you understand that, that will go on a long, uh, you know, uh, extend to, to you clearing the interview and even uh, sustaining in a product-based environment. 
Exactly. So even in a product based environment, you have to keep continuously upskilling exactly. yourself, learning. Yeah. We have tons yeah. of people from top product based companies who still enroll in the course because exactly. they want to constantly yeah. upskill yeah. themselves yeah. and yeah. stay at the bleeding yeah. edge. So, yeah. 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 very good, very valid and, points, very good points, yeah. Suman. Anything else that you wanted to yeah. add? Yeah, I think one skill that uh, I think it is invaluable is uh, SQL, right? Yes. In any product based company or, 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 or in any service based company as well. If you know, I mean, SQL well, not only like because it will, I mean, during production side, during development, like a, a lot of the data engineering work requires, I mean, SQL, right? But exactly. as a da data scientist, you should know as, I mean, you should no, know. No, for any well. data science role, I yeah. think SQL being able to write complex nested exactly. queries is yeah. mandatory, even for a data yeah. analyst at a services company. Yeah, yeah. That is, yeah. that is, that is like a super must because if you don't yeah. do that, you don't even have data to start playing with yeah. or even yeah. just simply plotting. Yeah. Yeah, correct. And other thing that I would say is that like, you know, when I started my data science journey or when I was trying to make a transition to, because I, I was not working as a data scientist in uh, my first company, I was working as a mainframe tester. And from there, I made the transition to data science. And at that point of time, I was not aware of applied AI. Like I was going through various courses, like my, my, my preparation was in bits and pieces. But now when people come to me and they ask me any strategic way, in any guided path, I straight away refer to the, uh, I mean, applied AI course. Like, Thank you very like much. They have this, they have the way of like the course are structured in a such a way, if you complete the, the course, you know what you need actually, because in, in data science, like if you, okay, after you complete the classical machine learning part, if you want to go to deep learning, if you want to be, I mean, if you want to specialize in NLP or computer vision, once you complete the applied, you know that which area is of your interest. It, I mean, it could be a time series. I mean, it could be a recommendation engine. It could be a NLP, CV, right? And then you can follow your, uh, you know, uh, journey and learn more about the particular concept. For example, I'm a time series person. I enjoy working time series. I have worked in time series before, so I try to uh, learn more about time series going forward. And because a lot of companies work in time series. Similarly, the other so you want to become an expert well. in time series while having the breadth of knowledge across exactly. all the other yeah. topics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Correct. Correct. So, so just understand like what you need. So before you complete the course, and then you understand like, because then you have a clear understanding of where you want to go. Do you want to stay in classical machine learning or which area of data science you are more interested in? True. Very valid points. So again, I hope you get to work on a lot of time series data. Again, in the store allocation problem, yeah. things change with time a lot. Yeah. So I'm yeah. sure there is a time series angle yeah. there. Uh, yeah. We wish you all the best, uh, you, all the success at Walmart, a lot of learning and growth. And uh, th uh, thank you, Suman. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank and you, again, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.